Is there any lesson learned for the next upcoming statewide election? Well, if you're asking me this question, um, it depends upon what you're getting at. And well, one of, if you're a Democrat right now, it says you, you, um, if you're doing recruitment, if you're trying this strategy of actually having Democrats run in every particular office, which a normal party does, then, um, you want to base your candidates as, uh, as far away from Orleans Parish as you possibly can. You, you want to use a very 1950s sort of, uh, strategy uh, and try to come together uh, it, it, I'll, I'll use a 60s example a john mckithen type of uh, fusion strategy you want to hope that you're on the ballot with other things going on as well and statewide elections you know can be affected but if you're the republicans um i think in the statewide uh, elections you should learn two lessons one don't get too comfortable but two just because you're going to win a statewide race does not mean that your own registered members are going to follow the party line in down ticket races. And this makes a very good transition to the mayor's race, if I can. Mm -hmm. Because for Republicans, the most important take on this is that while the hard and fast push by the Orleans Parish Republican Party, Jay Batt, uh, the party infrastructure for Desiree Charbonnet, managed to let her eke out a victory effectively in Lakeview and a few other limited places, uh, English Turn, Lunish Niles. It did not have much of an effect um, in the uptown area. It, it really, the, the precincts that were won by Michael Bagnaris, um, albeit one in the Garden District, went for LaToya Cantrell, um, places where she was known, both in District B and the adjoining uptown uh, precincts of District A, went for her. And it was and it was basically, if you're going to um, do the opposite um, of sort of what the Democrats were trying to do with statewide in Orleans Parish with Neil Reiser, if you're going to have a an officially chosen Democrat and you're going to go all out for them, you better make sure that that Democrat is going, has a citywide, parish-wide, area-wide, municipal-wide appeal. Because in this particular case, running against a sitting councilman uh, for the area you're trying to claim, most white voters in Orleans live in Lakeview or Uptown, uh, and with a few notable exceptions, you better know what you're doing. And, and the reason I bring that out is the Orleans Parish Republican Party, which had been so helped by the LA GOP in this race for Desiree Charbonnet, got a massive black eye in this election, that they couldn't even get Republicans overwhelmingly to support, um, in, uh, across the wide geography of the parish, to support uh, Desiree Charbonnet. Even though she won the white vote, she didn't win all the white precincts, and that says something. This was not a Michael Bagnaris coalition, even though he lost, it was because of, um, it was very much a Republican loss in the white vote. Just let me say this: Cantrell would have won regardless if if if, Kent, uh, if Charbonnet had gotten every Republican vote in the city. There aren't that many, but it is. It would have been a much tighter race. It would have been. It would not have been this sixty point four to thirty nine point such race that it was. 